Hi everyone, welcome to my first I Am Roses design team video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this super gorgeous metallic look on your I Am Roses. So as you can see, it's super shiny, super metallic, and it's super gorgeous. It looks really great in person. And I'll be going over the supplies that we'll be using to achieve this look. Um, I'll be using the Folk Art Metallic Paint, and this is such a great paint. It's such a value. It's a dollar something, and you can get it wherever they sell Folk Art Paint. I get it at Michael's or at Walmart, and I'll be using um, Metallic Sequin Black today and Metallic Aquamarine. I love this color, and then also Metallic Bright Red, and this is a very pink red. And so um, with these paints, um, you can tell that it's metallic because the, um, the label is shiny and it's, it says metallic in front of the color. So I'll also be using four different I Am Roses um, styles. And I will always put the name of the flowers and the code number down below in the description box. So um, I'll always do that on every video. And so I'll be using these gorgeous rosebuds. I love these. Um, these are one of my favorites. They're all my favorites, but this is the top of my <laughs> favorites. I love all of them. Um, and then I'll be using these um, little rosebuds too. Um, and these are cute because it has a heart-shaped petal. Um, I'll also be using these gorgeous gardenias. And then I'll also be using one of my favorites, um, these roses here. These are 1.5 inches. Um, again, um, all the names, official names and codes will be down below. Um, and I love these flowers. I like to get the white and ivory ones um, so you can customize them. So I'll be coloring these different colors. So I'll be back to color the first one. So right now I'll be showing you how to mix the paint up. I'm only going to be coloring one flower with the aquamarine color, so I'm going to only mix a small amount. So um, I do like to um, dilute the paint with water because it's very thick. So I take my paint and I make sure it's all good and shook up just so all the different pigments in it mix around. Um, I have a mini mister um, filled halfway with water and it's just halfway and I don't have the top on it so I'll take my paint and I'll just put just literally probably just a drop so that was about three drops um, and then what I'll do is I'll put my finger on top and then I'm going to shake it up And I will be right back to paint the flower. So this is the flower that I'll be painting. I know that I will be using different leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the leaves now. Um, sometimes I like to leave the leaves. Sometimes I don't. Um, for this particular project, um, I will not be needing the leaves. So I'm just going to cut them off. And then I like to leave the stem, so um, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't, but um, it's good to leave that on while you're painting so you have something to hang on to. I also know that I'll be using a different center, so I'm going to um, cut the little um, stamen off. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to cut the tops of them because I'm going to put something different in the middle. I like to experiment with like different centers. Okay, so here's my flower. I've prepped it. 
and um, here's the paint that I mixed earlier and I also I always like to do a test run it was a little bit light for me so I did add another drop so it's good to start off small um, with the paint and then work your way up um, for your desired um, darkness of the color so I'm going to take my craft mat to protect my work surface and then I have my flowers been prepped I took out the leaves because I won't be needing them for this project and the little stamen so I'm gonna go ahead and paint um, I'm gonna start I just kind of keep going until I cover the whole thing um, so here's my paint so I'll just start painting and you'll see how pretty um, this color is um, this metallic paint and I do like to dilute the paint I tried um, just painting the flower straight on and the paint is just really thick um, and this is a really pretty color so I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep painting this flower and I will um, heat set it and I will be right back. I just wanted you to see what the dried flower looks like and keep in mind you don't need to oversaturate your flower with the water, just, just put enough because since this is mulberry paper it'll, it'll take the um, medium pretty well. So here's what it looks like, and it looks gorgeous. It's super shiny, and because this is metallic paint, there's a lot of mica, and it's just so gorgeous. So just to compare, this is what the raw flower looks like without the paint, and here it is with the paint and water mixture. It's so gorgeous. And you can see, as you can see, the flower retains its shape. Um, I like to dry like upside down with my heat gun and then just, you know, push the petals down, but, um, it does retain its shape and it looks super gorgeous and it's super shiny and it's just, it's amazing and I love this color. So I'll go ahead and paint the other flowers. I'm ready to embellish my project. So I got this wooden box from Michael's. And it started off as plain wood, and Bona had used this, hey Bona, on a project, and it's a dresser, and it has a little mirror there, and I covered it all with this fabulous crepe paper portrait collection that Sharon, SM Scrapper, shared with me. Hey Sharon! So I just fell in love with the color combo, and so I painted the box black, and I covered it up, and it was really fun to even cover up the inside and I added some trim that I got from fellow design team member Carla. Hey Carla, who's Carla's 001 and I even finished the inside so it was super fun so I'm ready to put some flowers on top of here with my glue gun so I also decided to use some black skeleton leaves um, which are from I Am Roses as well. I'll put all the descriptions and code numbers below. So um, here are all the painted flowers, and this is the separate bud that I painted. Um, you saw me paint this one, and so that's why I chose these colors, because I wanted to coordinate with this top and I wanted to mimic the flowers as well so I'll be layering some of these flowers um, together on top of each other so I'm going to start by adhering down the two skeleton leaves and so I kind of want them to go here And you don't need much because this um, the skeleton leaves are super thin. And I want the black flower to go here.
and I've cut all the stems off because I don't need them for this particular project. Then I'm going to adhere this one. I just love the way this one came out. So I'm going to adhere that here. I'm just waiting for the glue just to set up. And then um, here's the rosebud. And I want it, I want to put the rosebud on top of here because I want this to look like a lotus. I'm just gonna hold it there until I know the glue is set up. Oh, it looks so cute. And then I'm going to take this one and do the same thing here. And I'm gonna take these little pink ones and then put them, like tuck them in here and there. That's what I love about the glue gun. It's like immediate gratification. It just dries fast. And I'm noticing I missed a little spot there which I'll have to do some touch-ups later. And then I'm gonna do this back here. I'm just gonna tuck it in. Okay, so here's what the project looks like so far. I'll be adding some bling and some butterflies and I'll be back with the finished project. Hi everyone, I'm back with my completed project and I'm super excited. I think it came out super cute. So I just wanted to show you what the top looks like. I added some bling and some butterflies. I also added some bling down here in the drawer. And um, that's how it came out. I think it came out super cute. I love how the layering of the flowers came out. And please make sure you stop by my blog because I'll have some up close pictures. And uh, make sure you go to the description box below to find out all the code numbers for the flowers um, that I use and the I Am Roses website and also the I am Rose's DT channel. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.